Hello students, welcome back. Now today I am going to teach you more about insects. We have already learned life cycles of housefly, life cycle of a bird. So in this we will learn life cycle of butterfly which I have already shown you in life cycle of housefly. But today here I will show you a bit. So more about insects. Insects are very adaptable and are found almost everywhere, right? On the earth, that is in air, on land, in water and even under the soil and on plants and animals. There are several types of insects. They differ in size, shape, color and other features. They do not have skeleton. Skeleton, right? We have, they do not have. They have hard outer covering called exoskeleton. Like see few of the insects I will show you. They have hard outer covering. This provides the necessary support as well as flexibility to their body. They have three pairs of legs. Children see three pairs. One, two, three. Every insect has three pairs of legs. Right? Now the body of an insect. Children See here, you can see the grasshopper. See, I have the grasshopper here. Can you see grasshopper? Yes. So, this is the head. This part. The middle part is called thorax. And the last one is abdomen. Right, children? So, an insect's body consists of three parts. Head, thorax and abdomen. Right? Head, thorax and abdomen. Now, head. Insects have a pair of antenna, right? See here, antenna, a pair of eyes and mouth parts on their head. They use their antenna to detect odor, smell, vibrations and sound. They have composite eyes that have thousands of lenses to detect the motion. Motion means movement of things around them. The mouth parts of insects can be of different types. Depending on their food, many insects like grasshopper, as I have shown you here, and beetle. Here, children see beetle, right? Beetle have chewing type of mouth mouth part. Some other like butterflies and moths have sucking type of mouth part. Now, insects do not have nose, children. They breathe through small openings called spiracles. See, children here spiracles. They breathe through that. In the exoskeleton. Second part is thorax. Children see here many of the insects. Can you see ants? See even I can show you ants. See here ants. Right? This is grasshopper and this is ant. Right children? Ant and this is grasshopper. Thorax, the chest of an insect is called thorax. It is three segments. It bears three pairs of legs. One on each segment. These legs are adapted to walk, to swim, to knock, jump, dig and grab. The thorax also bear wings. Most insects have two pairs of wings but a few like flies have a, see, flies, flies. Few like flies have only one pair of wings. See, only one pair of wings. Can you see one pair of wings? Some insects like ants and fleas. Children see fleas. Now fleas do not have wings. See, it do not have wings at all. Now the abdomen. Abdomen means stomach. It is the stomach of an insect. It has 11 segments. How many segments children? 11. And contains the heart that is respiratory system, digestive system and reproductive system. It may also contain specialized organs like finger. Now, there are social insects like ants, bees, honeybees. Social means they come in together. Some insects are social in their behavior and do not live alone. They live in a group only. For example, ants, bees, termites. In the wooden food furniture children, you will see the termites, etc. Live together in well-organized colonies. See, these are the colonies to get protection from enemies and share food and work. 
Now life cycle of a butterfly. As I have shown you in my earlier video, life cycle of a housefly. Same four steps are there in life cycle of butterfly. Now the series of changes through which an organism passes during its life is called life cycle here. It has four stages in its life cycle. Can you see the four stages? First is an, an adult butterfly lays eggs. Then the eggs hatch and larva come out and are known as this is caterpillar. There it lives and grow. Now the caterpillar spin a cocoon. See children cocoon around themselves called pupa. After some time butterflies come out of the pupa and they grow and become adults. So this is the life cycle of a butterfly. Now see children. Some useful insects. Some insects are useful to us. How? Now some insects help us in many ways. We get honey from honey bees. Bees wake from their high. Variety of products like candles, soaps, skin products, crayons, etc. are made from bees wake. We get silk from silk worm. Some insects help in dispersal of seeds of plants. For example, ants. As I have shown you, I, ants. Then bugs. See, children here, ladybugs. Bugs. Right? And this is the cricket, etc. Now, many insects eat dead plants and animals and clean the environment. For example, bitter larva feeds on plant remains and dead bodies of animals. See, children, the products from the useful insects like honey from honeybees, candle, crayon, soap, skin products. Okay, if you forgot then you can see the earlier videos and 
you can find out the life cycle of house fly also. Even it has four stages. So understood children? Now if you like my videos, please like, subscribe and share it. And if you have any doubt, if you want, if you want any changes, you can write the comments in the comments box also. Okay children?